Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video I'm going to show you the secrets of getting a good export from Reunion for Mac into Family Tree Maker for Mac. The first th secret that I want to show you is actually making sure that your multimedia links are healthy before you do the export because if you want your multimedia transferred into Family Tree Maker you need to make sure your links are clean up to begin with. So up in the Reunion on the menu bar over to preferences and right here we can select on the multimedia icon and if we click on this I this locations folder icon and then down here on this repair button now the details of this are covered in a video on macgenealogist.com so you can look that up but I'm just gonna click proceed this box just tells us what it's going to do and we want this to run through and check all of our items and if you have any that are, it's that uh, reunion's having trouble finding, then you'll want to generate a report and go clean those up by hand. In my case, all the items were located, so I know my multimedia is clean. So I'm just going to close this. And then I'll go through the process of exporting a file, which is under File, Import, Export, and then Export GEDCOM. Now, even if you know how to export a GEDCOM, there's still some recommendations that I have after quite a bit of playing around with this as I was in the beta program for uh, Family Tree Maker for Mac. And what I've discovered is that it will import multimedia. Now there are a couple secrets to that and the first one is here. You'll want to make sure you check this box for include multimedia links. I also suggest that you include your sources and you're probably going to want to turn this privacy filtering and the data sensitive data filtering off. Um, you'll have to decide for yourself if you want to have those on for some reason, but you'll probably want them off and you'll probably want all people selected. Now under optional fields, you'll note in here that I am, have selected all of the person fields and all of the family fields. Now again, I know from experience that uh, probably close to a score, if not more than a score, of these person fields will not make the trip into Family Tree Maker. They'll be exported by Reunion, but they will not be imported by Family Tree Maker. Such facts, person facts as height and weight and eye color and hair color, cause of death, as I say, there, there are a whole list of those and I'm going to show you another important secret step in there when we get to that point in the import process. But in the meantime, make sure you've got them all selected to include in the export. And there's this one other little box that you want to make sure you don't miss. It's down here at the bottom and you'll want to make sure you check that for including event memos. Otherwise those will not make the trip either. Once you've got all of that selected, click export. Tell it where you want the file. Uh, just to make it simple, I'm going to put it on my desktop. You'll probably want to put it someplace safer than that. And then click Export. Now that I've got that exported, I'll switch into Family Tree Maker. And if this is the first time you're starting up Family Tree Maker, you'll have this screen on the Plan Workspace. And this is where you can select this import a tree from an existing file, which is what you do to bring in a GEDCOM. If you don't have this screen, you can click File, New, and it'll bring you here. So I'm just going to click that radio button, and you can see here this is where you bring in a GEDCOM or um, older versions of Family Tree Maker files. So we'll click Choose to tell it where the GEDCOM file is. And it's right there on my desktop, so I'll select it in that list and click Choose and then I'm going to change the family name. Um, it detected that I already had a version of this so I'm going to replace the one that's there so that may or may not happen for you. And so it brings in these and it counts up the errors as it goes. Now I know that I'm going to have to repeat this process because the multimedia import is not going to work properly but I want to show you what it looks like when it doesn't work and before I show you how to 
fix the problem and what the problem is. So I'm going to come back to this screen because I want to tell you about this view log file. I've got a little secret for you there. But I'm just going to close it for now since we're going to repeat this process. So this is going to switch me into the people workspace where you can see my pedigree view. And I don't know whether you remember, but back in Reunion, I had my photo here. And there are also photos for other people. And they appear not to have made the trip. And the first clue, second clue actually, the first clue was that it didn't show up there. Second clue is right up here. This icon is the icon that you'll get for a multimedia image link that's broken within Family Tree Maker. This magnifying glass saying, hey, I'm trying to find this thing. And we get the rather sad view if we switch to this media workspace where it will show all of the media files that I have and they are all broken. So let me show you what's causing that problem and how to fix it and then we'll re-import this file. So in order to do that I'll want to open up the JEDCOM file. Now you can use text edit for this. Um, you can use any other text editor. Anything you can do a find and replace with will work fine. So I'm going to click file open and switch to my desktop, sayerfamily.jed, click open and let me make this typeface a little bigger for you so you can see what's going on here. Because if I, if I select this line right here, you can see what's going on. Right here, this file, this is the multimedia file link for this person, which happens to be me. And these two little characters are what we're concerned with. And so this tilde forward slash is a shortcut in Unix on which Mac OS is based. This means your home directory. And for some reason, Mac Family Tree doesn't recognize that as meaning your home directory. So what we need to do is a search and replace and get rid of all of those sla tilde slashes and replace it with the actual folder names that belong there. So I'm going to press uh, Command F to bring up the find window. And so I'm going to enter in tilde forward slash and I'm going to replace that with forward slash users with a capital U slash in my username. So you'll have to substitute whatever your username is on your Mac for the bsayer part and make sure you end it with the, the forward slash. So it should look just like that, Use, slash users, slash whatever your username is, and another slash. And then I'll just select replace all. And that made 97 replacements, which is the number of multimedia items I have. So I'll save that file, and I will quit text edit. And let me go back here to File New in Family Tree Maker, and I'm going to repeat that import process. Since I'm going to replace the file, I'll change the file name to be the same as the existing one and click Continue. Select Replace and move to Trash. Now the import is complete and I want to show you this little secret about the log file. You're going to want to view this because you're going to want to save it someplace you can find it. What this does is put it in this temporary place and I recommend that you save this file someplace safer where you can find it again because you'll find when you look through this file, if you're using any person facts, for instance, that some tags are not going to be recognized. Like here you can see quite a number of these. Um, a, degree, a couple degrees, uh, cause of death, um, eye color, hair color, weight, height, description, eyes, again, um, married name. So 
uh, there are somewhere around a score, if not more than a score, of these person facts from Reunion that get exported into the GEDCOM but don't get imported into Family Tree Maker. So by saving this log file, you'll be able to go through these one at a time and look at the entry and do the investigation in the GEDCOM. So line 17, you'll be able to jump to line 17 in that file and look at what individual that email address is for and determine whether you want to copy that information by hand and put it in a note somewhere in that person's record in Family Tree Maker or not. So save this out somewhere using whatever text editor um, this loads up in by default for you. Save that somewhere where you can locate it later to correct those issues. And once you've done that, switch back to Family Tree Maker and press Close. And it will pull up this time the people workspace and this time the pedigree is populated with photographs and when we click on the media workspace we will see that all of the media items are there now I've got some things to show you around sources so let me switch over to the sources workspace and you can see all the sources listed over here. There are 128 source groups here in this family file that I imported. One of the things that I want to show you here is this unlinked group. Now that is not where unlinked sources go because sources that are unlinked in Reunion do not get exported into the GEDCOM by Reunion. So do not look for your unlinked sources to transfer there. You'll want to check for those within Reunion first and determine whether you want to create those source items in Family Tree Maker after you import your GEDCOM. Next I want to show you a little message that you might see within sources and explain what that's all about. So I selected this last source here. And under Source Citations, We've got this interesting little message in square brackets that says no source citation information. Now what that means is that in within Reunion you didn't have the source detail field for that citation populated. So within Reunion that looked like this. This detail was not populated. And so it will show up this way. There's still a source citation there, and you can see that if we double click on this. This is the information for the citation, and you can see there's no citation detail. So it just appears in, a, in an odd way. Now there's a, another odd little thing to get accustomed to within here, and that is with media that is associated with a source and a citation. This particular source item in Reunion has an image of the marriage license associated with it. And you might think that you could just click on the media tab here and see the media, but there's none listed here. And that's because this, the multimedia for the source isn't in this tab because this tab is specific to this citation of that source, and there might be more than one. For instance, if I go up here, you can see this one has four different citations for that same source. So let's go back down to Joel Weeks. And if I double click on this source group over here and open that within this media tab for that source item, that's where you'll see the image of that source. So the media in this tab is specific to this citation. And then notes work similarly within Reunion you can create freeform text along with a source and you might expect that to appear in the notes tab but it does not again because this notes tab is specific to this citation of that source so the note is actually associated with this source which you can see over here in Family Tree Maker it appears as reference notes